we must live within our means. How to, we cannot spend money that we don't have. We cannot have a budget that we cannot fund. And that is why we have to cut down on expenditure. I said yesterday, we are cutting down. The budget uh, parliament had done of 4.2 trillion. We are cutting it down to 3.7 trillion. We are removing 500 billion because we must cut the size of the cloth that fits our size. At Wesi Kwendelea to live large. And I want to say this, it will be reckless. It will be irresponsible. And it will be a betrayal to the nation of Kenya if we continue to borrow money and risk our country defaulting when we know that we can live within our means and we can cut down on our expenditure, we can enhance our revenue, we can reduce on wastage, and we can stop corruption so that Kenya can move forward. As I have told the country before, we are going to make the right decisions. Last year, when we make decisions to stop matters to do with unnecessary uh, subsidies on consumption. Many people do not believe in it. But now, unga ambaye likuwa elifu shilingi miambili plus sahi guru huyu ameniambia amenunua hapa shilingi miamoja. Hapa hapa kwenu. Hiyo imepungua. Dola ambaye likuwa imefika 160. Because now people believe in Kenya and they believe we have the capacity to make the right decisions. Dollar ndio hii imekuja imefika 130 ikiteremka chini. Mafuta inateremka chini. Dollar inateremka chini. Jana ilitangazwa stock exchange ya Kenya, Nairobi Stock Exchange. Imetoka from being the worst stock exchange to the best stock exchange in the world. Stock exchange ya Nairobi ya Kenya. Sasa nyinyi unataka stock exchange ya Kenya ndio number 1. Na nyinyi muko stock theft. Surely Eh? What an irony. Hiyo maneno tuwache. Maneno iko huko kwa stock exchange. Tumeelewana? Huko ndio maneno inaendelea mzuri. Tuwache hii ya ya, ya stock theft. Tumekubaliana jameni.